Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Um, I know it's been a while. I haven't even been able to upload stuff on our regular YouTube channel either. Um, I think this is going on the third week. I'm finally going to be able to get to one of my um, weight loss videos. Um, it's just been crazy. <laughs> it's just been really, really crazy. So um, I hope you guys understand. Um, my grandmother was in the hospital. She had to have surgery. Um, heart surgery and so we had gone out of town we had gone to California to be with her during all of that um, and then uh, when we were gone the AC in uh, the car that Ruben drives every day went out and I mean that's what we do we drive all day long and so it was really kind of miserable for him it was almost a hundred degrees in our area like every day um, and so he was just miserable while well, he was here working and we were in California. But when we got back, we finally were able to fix it. Um, and literally the day after we fixed it, the transmission went out on the car. So we just paid a thousand. I was out of town. You know, I had to spend money obviously to get there, come back, um, food and things like that while we were there and out of town. Um, and then as soon as we get back, we had to fork out another thousand dollars to fix the air conditioner so we could be comfortable in driving the car. And then I'm not kidding. We had it repaired on Friday, Saturday, he went to drive it and the transmission went out. Um, and so we're like, well, that's awesome. So then, um, we spent the last, um, week just not even doing anything, not even doing our normal routine, just working 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 as hard as we could both sharing one car um off schedules to work and make the money that we need to and buy another car so um that's what we've done we're still kind of in the process of all of that uh, we have the car the new car now but we're now it's like a playing a game of catch up we're trying to like um get as much money back in our pockets so that we can finally start doing things again and be back on track and um, go places, record things for you guys, and get things posted. Um, so it's been kind of crazy, but um, aside from all of that, while I was out of town, um, it was difficult. Like I didn't want to use my grandmother's because she didn't have a ton of food there, and yes, I could have gone shopping um, and bought stuff, but it was just easier, especially with the girls. I didn't want to cook. I didn't want to make a mess in her house. I didn't want to um, do any of that and then have to clean and put it all it it was just easier to eat out which I know is not the best um I still try to be okay but during that week I was I fluctuated the last couple of weeks up and down up and down up and down I, I kept going back up to like 295 um and then going all the way back down to the 289 and then back up like it just in between those two numbers I kept going up and down um but I was actually really shocked this morning because of how everything went the last couple weeks few last few weeks um, that when I got on the scale today I am actually down another pound from my previous video so I am at as of today as of this morning um, I'm at 288 pounds um, with it being three weeks like it definitely should have been a better weight loss than that but again um, things have been super crazy I haven't been able to follow my diet I haven't been able to fall to go on walks or do any of that stuff that um, I try to do uh, but I things are calming down finally and I am ready to get back on track and so we're gonna do that um, I mentioned in the previous video that um, I was thinking of doing a what I eat in a day so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, that's what this video is gonna be about and this next section of the video I'm gonna do a voiceover for it because the girls have um, a friend that spent the night and they're out there on the couch and I don't want to make too much noise and talk and, and be too disruptive and loud. It's, it's bad enough that I'm going to go make my lunch and all of that. So um, I'll show you guys what I packed for myself for the day and then um, just kind of take you along on my day and you can see what I do, how I eat, and um, I, I'm going to start getting back on track so I can start losing some more of that weight. Um, oh, and another thing is to, um, with all of this craziness and all this money, you know, kind of going out, out of nowhere and all of that, I did have to push my surgery date back to September, to the middle of September. So, um, no longer in August. I had to push it back a month. 
Um, but it's, it's still happening. It's just going to be a little bit longer now, but, um, in any case, uh, just stay tuned and I will go ahead and show you guys kind of my normal daily routine and how I eat in a day. Okay. So here is a small selection of, um, some of the stuff that I will pack. Um, I don't pack all of this at once, but, uh, these are just some of the options that I typically do put in here. Okay, so I will normally start off with these Premier Protein Shakes. Um, it's the one shake that I like the flavor of, and they have 30 grams of protein. It's only one gram of sugar, and it's got 25 vitamins and minerals. I'm trying this coffee one for the first time today, actually, um, but I love these Premier Protein Shakes. That's usually what I start my morning off with. Um, and then next, um, I picked up some of these Premier Protein. There, it's a clear protein drink. It also has 120 grams, I'm sorry, 20 grams of protein, um, and then 90 grams of calorie. There's no sugar. Um, I'm using that more for when I'm trying to do more of a like liquid diet type of thing, um, but I bring those with me. And then hard-boiled eggs is also something that I will pack in my lunch um, maybe a couple times a week. Again, all of this stuff, I don't put it all in at once, um, but those are that's some of my options. Um, next I have this, um, egg witch from Costco. It's, they're actually really good. The picture doesn't really do it justice. Um, I mean, my video doesn't really do it justice, but this is what they look like. They have 18, uh, 17 grams of protein per serving. It's a turkey sausage. Um, there's, eight in the pack and they're gluten free. I mean, I don't really pay attention to that. It's keto friendly. Um, not specifically why I bought it, but, uh, they're actually really good. Um, so, and then I also buy these at Costco. It's like a cheese and fruit and nut pack. It's got eight grams of protein and 180 calories total. Um, I mean, it's a little bit higher, but when I'm out there and I don't have, I'm not stopping anywhere, it's easy to just pick up something like this and I can snack on it throughout the day. So um, I'm still well under all of my calorie intake, even with that type of stuff. Um, this here is one of my absolute favorites. Um, it's just cottage cheese with a couple, couple tablespoons of um, salsa. And you mix that up. I, I don't remember where I found this. Um, but I thought it was weird and then I was like, you know, I'm just going to try it. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. It truly is one of my favorite kind of snacks. Um, and you can see here that the salsa itself only has like 10 calories. Um, and it's only got one gram of sugar in there. There's no protein, but the calories on it is so low mixed with the cream cheese or the cottage cheese so it's only 130 calories total um, and that seems to fill me up pretty good so this is one of my favorites I'm definitely packing that in my lunch today and then next we have I like these yogurts sometimes I can't find them but I get them from Costco also they're like these parfaits and they're they're really good. This one has coconut, chia seeds, and granola. Um, it's a hundred or two hundred and sixty calories. And um, I mean, again, kind of high, but not like it's got three grams of, of fiber there. Protein is sixteen grams. Um, it's still good. It helps with all of those that protein. It helps keep you full. Um, and then of course you can't forget the water. I usually bring two to three bottles of water with me. Um, it, I don't drink enough water, but I try to. And then another good one, and I'm probably bringing this one with me for sure today. It has 110 calories, 16 grams of protein, and I just eat it straight out of the pack like that. I open it up and I stick my fork in and I'll just eat it like that. You can do other things with it, but that's how I like it. Just keep it simple. Um, and then this is another one of my favorite snacks. I love the roasted garlic hummus, um, and it's all unopened. I just bought all of this stuff, but I'll usually bring that. It only has 70 grams of, or 70 calories in it, um, which is really nice. It does have two grams of protein there, 
there is five grams of carbs it's not too much carbs but uh, and then I'll just bring maybe like a handful of these baby carrots and like maybe a quarter cup of that hummus and even the carrots are only 30 calories so again it's a pretty good pretty filling little snack with very low calories um, that's that's another one that I really really enjoy bringing with um, I am heading out for the day I'm getting started um, I know that what I packed my lunch seemed like it was a lot of stuff um, as I was saying I didn't I don't pack all of it I didn't pack all of it today um, but I do still tend to kind of overpack for my day just because one I don't really know how long I'm gonna be out here for and two um, I like options I like to have the option of choosing what I want for the day. I mean, just because I pack it doesn't necessarily mean that's what I want and then I end up eating it. Um, I've been known to, to think like, ah, oh, I don't really feel like that today. Um, and I have no other options, so I'll just stop somewhere. Um, so I do tend to overpack. I don't eat it all in one day. Um, and the nice thing about it is that um, once like whatever I do end up eating then and whatever is left over for the day, it's already in my lunch for the next day. Um, I do have cooler packs in the bag and all of that. So, um, you know, nothing's going to go back bad throughout the day. Um, but I like to have options and I do know that I overpack, but I don't eat it all. Not all in one day. And uh, right now though, I am on my way to Starbucks to get my coffee for the morning. And um, I mix, as I was saying, I mix, I mix one of the shakes into it. I'm going to try the cafe latte shake today. Um, I've actually never tried it. I, I like coffee. I actually like to make strong coffee when I'm at home. Um, but I don't tend to like coffee flavored things. So I'm not sure how that protein shake is going to be. But I'm going to put it in with my coffee today and see how it tastes. And if I like it, then it's just another option that I can bring along with me but um, in any case that's where I'm at right now I am on my way to the Starbucks and I'm gonna get my coffee good morning thank you for choosing Starbucks my name is Karen how are we doing today good how are you oh I'm beautiful thank you for asking can I get everything you need this morning no thank you what are we drinking can we get a double shot of espresso and a venti cup with ice please Anything else? That's it. So we're going to do a double left on that decomp. Got it. We'll see you for 2.74. All right. Thank you. Okay. So um, this is my espresso drink. Um, as you can see, it's, they call it a dopio. It's a double shot of espresso. And then with the Fendi cup and ice. So it's just the cup full of ice with the espresso down at the bottom and then I just take my shake and I go ahead and pour that on in there and that is um, the main breakfast I have I did have that breakfast sandwich today um, because I lost track of things yesterday and I did not get to eat dinner um, the kids were all fed and all of that, but I was running around doing a bunch of other things, so I didn't get to eat. So I did actually wake up hungry this morning. I don't usually wake up hungry. Um, so typically this is all I will have for breakfast. And then maybe like in an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, if I'm running around busy, I just honestly like don't have time or I just kind of forget to eat um, in general. It's I know, it's really bad. Um, but... This is typically what I will sip on for a while. Um, it's my main breakfast most days, and that's it. Um, I'll have this, and then like I said, maybe hour and a half, two hours, then I'll actually eat um, one of my snacks or a couple of them um, to get something else in me. But uh, I did have that breakfast sandwich, so um, today after the breakfast sandwich and my coffee, so just pour it in and kind of mix it up with a straw. Um, I probably won't be hungry since I did have that breakfast sandwich today. I probably won't be hungry actually until like at least noon, if not one o'clock. But, uh, and that's when, um, I will go ahead and I'll, I'll pick up. And if, um, I do go somewhere for lunch today, I will check back in with you guys. 
this is what dinner is today. Um, it's just a shredded chicken sandwich, some zucchini, and a salad. Um, I did not stop for lunch today um, as I just didn't have the time, but I just worked on the food that was in my um, in my lunch that you guys saw that I, I packed. Um, but this is my version of it, and um, I still had the zucchini and the salad. I did a spring mix salad, and then I did not eat with um, any of the buns. I so in any case, that's what I um, eat typically on a normal basis. Obviously, dinner changes up a bit, lunch changes up a bit sometimes, but for the most part, everything you saw today is my normal routine. It's not what I normally have. Um, most of the time, I make chicken breast. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please comment and like and subscribe and, and all of that good stuff. Also, be sure to check out our normal fun travel videos where we go out and try different things out and about in town or even um, out of town. And thanks for watching. Bye.